I'm Isabel Jensen with our vision class. Today, we're talking with Dr. Newman about our new building projects. So what have we done so far? So this year, we started with a building project. Our major one is our air conditioning. So for most of our students, as you know, we put air conditioning in every building. Um, before this year, we only had air conditioning at Pineview. Um, but part of the process when we looked at some building projects before was just the heat. Uh, we've gotten out early at least five or six days every year with heat. Um, and that was probably the number one concern talking to parents and students over the years was the air conditioning. So we are able to fund that with what we call a save project. So we did not have to increase property taxes, which is a common misconception. Um, but we are able to install air conditioning at every building. Other things we have going on, uh, we installed a new playground at Rock Run. Um, for anyone that was at the Rock Run playground before the new project, uh, it was falling apart. Most of the slides were falling down and some of the equipment was original. So we were able to get that completed and currently we have a transportation building being built um, that will be used to house all of our non-bus vehicles. And in there we also have uh, a softball and uh, baseball batting cages that are be indoor facilities for our teams to use instead of barring community facilities. That sounds great. So tell us more about what's coming up in the future. Well, this November, we have a project we're going out to bid for where we're going to uh, have major renovations here at the high school. So out in our current courtyard, um, we're going to build a new high school safe and secure office. So that'll include the principal's office, the nurse's office. We'll have a new snack shack concession stand, a new guidance counselor suite. Um, and part of that as well, we're going to have our visiting locker rooms replaced right now. They're in the basement. They're not accessible for all individuals. So in order to make them accessible, we need to move them to ground level. Uh, our cheapest way to do that would be to put them in the current wrestling room. So our current wrestling room will be totally remodeled. It'll have a boys and girls guest locker room as well as an athletic training space for Jasmine, our athletic trainer. And that means we need to build a new wrestling room. So we'll have a new wrestling room addition just south of the gym here. Um, so we're going to do all that and we're going to do some other things in here. We're going to take out the trophy cases, put in some high top tables for the students. We'll have new trophy cases on the entrance. And then we're going to remodel the current high school office and that'll be the new district office. So the superintendent's office will be there. So that's what's happening this fall. Do we have any plans for the next five years? Yep, so this this project will take care of the first phase. Um, six years ago, this kind of all started with a band room. We were looking at renovations for the band room. I was still the high school principal at the time. I was just named superintendent. Um, and it was gonna be $2 million to flatten out the band room and basically add a 15 foot closet. So when we started looking at that, we decided, hey, for, for that much money, for $2 million, what would a new band room cost? Uh, the new band room was going to cost around $3 million, which would actually give us more space to play in. So looking through all of that in the process, um, we did a full facility assessment to see what our needs were. And then um, that's how some of these other projects came to be. But adding a new band room, the problem was the only place to add the band room on campus is uh, over by the softball field. So if you go past that, that's that down slope to the locker room. So again, that's why this first phase was so important. So our next phase would be looking at a band room. Uh, we have a community group that would like to add a big auxiliary gym. Um, and we're also looking at adding the gym as well as potential as an elementary project. So in March of 2021, we actually went for a bond issue where we would have built a new elementary, a band room, a gym and everything here at the high school. So we'll look at what phases can we do to kind of make that, that reality in the next five years. This is Isabel Jensen in Our Vision, and I want to thank Dr. Newman for his time. It sounds like there's great things happening for Iowa Falls Alden in the future.